What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior and Aviators and a Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel and guys, it is good to be back. Oh man, let me tell ya, let me tell ya, I've been busy. School's been getting back into it, my schedule's all, you know, crazy and non-stop action and doing stuff all the time, so I'm glad to be back in it. Low key, I'm recording at 9 o'clock at night hoping my family doesn't get loud or get annoyed that I'm loud talking to the camera because... Oh man, I couldn't find any other time this week. I honestly couldn't. But anyway, today we're gonna be going over another weapon logs, guys. It's been a minute since I've done any video, including weapon logs. So I'm going to be doing a weapon log over my new uh, meat cleaver. <laughs> Let's run that intro. Stay hydrated. So this is the Carbon Fiber Limited Edition Spring Assisted Meat Cleaver. Um, this is gonna be, basically if you took a pocket knife and a meat cleaver and made it one thing, that's what you get with this knife. And I carried it with me for about a week just to kind of see how it felt, see what, you know, it was really like. And I have some, some points for it, that's for sure. Now, as far as the way this knife works, it's a very smooth knife. Now it opens up nice and easy and it closes just as easily. You don't have to put an intense amount of pressure on the lock in order to close it. It's fairly easy to close, but it still locks nice and strong. So it's not gonna come down unless you actually want it to. <laughs> so that's it's always a nice feature for your pocket knife. Now I also really like the design for this knife. It has a very nice carbon fiber mesh design on the side of the body of the knife. I don't know if you can see this very well. Again recording at like 9 a.m. so sorry I really like not only the carbon fiber but the whole design of the knife is very very cool the look the point I'm trying to make is nobody is born cool except of course <laughs> Spud Lee you have to learn to be cool the whole concept of a meat cleaver being a pocket knife is just awesome to me and I think it should be added into anyone's knife collection so if you are collecting knives you should definitely check this out but if you decide to carry it with you on a day-to-day -day basis, you may run into some problems that I ran into. Now, I didn't run into the problem of it opening in my pocket or anything like that. That was a okay, nothing wrong with that. And it even have the, has the clip that you can uh, clip it to your belt for ease of use. But here's the thing. I don't really like clipping knives to my belt, mostly because I don't like telling people that I have a knife. That's just something that I do I do so I keep my knives all the time I keep all of my knives whenever I carry them in my pockets and so because this is so awkwardly shaped and big uh, it gets in the way whenever I decide to sit down or move around if I if it's in my front pocket if I sit down wrong it kind of like awkwardly sits at an angle in my pocket. If I put it in my back pocket, I can definitely feel awkwardly sitting on some large piece of metal, and that's not okay. Definitely not okay with that. Hey, phrasing! So overall, I wouldn't suggest carrying this knife as your day-to-day. -day. It's just too cumbersome and annoying to deal with in certain situations. But if you know that you're gonna need either a meat cleaver or a bigger knife for whatever reason, and can carry it on the outside of your pants and are willing to carry it on the, like, the belt or some other strap on your backpack or something in maybe in a cargo pant pocket, um, those will probably be better choices than carrying this giant thing around in your pocket. And as always, you can go and check out this knife yourself if you wish. I'll leave links down in the description. You can go and check it out. Uh, if you actually decide to buy it, it actually helps me out a lot. I use money from this series to pay for my college, so I'm very grateful for you guys, very grateful you guys like this series, and very grateful I'm allowed, I'm able to keep going and these guys will send me awesome stuff like this night. Now if you want to help me out without spending money, you can just, you know, share this channel, maybe leave a subscribe, maybe comment a little bit, let me know that you are enjoying what I'm putting out. I love hearing your feedback. I try to respond as often as I can. Sometimes I miss some, but I try to respond to everything that I can. But until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and do all the other fun YouTube stuff. Maybe join the notification squad while you're at it. But my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. <laughs>